So I've created no docs to date, so this is going to be my first shared doc. Doc, again, it's just like a, it's a, a text file that multiple people can collaborate on. Uh, so think of files as like a PDF upload. Um, and a doc is kind of your own personal notes. So you have a standard, you know, email text editor. Um, you're familiar with that. You can edit things there however you like. You can format it slightly differently. So the title, whatever, whatever, you're used to this. You can change the color. You can insert a link however you please. So this is great for maybe meeting minutes uh, for kind of personal notes to yourself. Um, if it's uh, notes from a conference call that you're going to want to share with a peer, uh, docs are great for that because files you physically need to upload a file so unless you're gonna like save a word file and then upload it that's not gonna play so now we have the associated group this is if you want to affiliate said um, docs with your group just like you can with the files so that would be broker dealers advisors etc who can read this who can edit this who can read comments on it who can post comments on it who can view the history of revisions on the doc so this is effectively um, a deep privacy settings that says, look, this is fully private if only the doc author can do it. Otherwise, let's say this is a document that we want to be accessed by groups. We can do members of WEG broker dealers, anyone, and so various access levels for each thing. Now, we're allowed to place it within a group folder, which would organize it a bit. Say it's broker advisors and we want to create this new folder for our May um, you know, our May project, we could do that. Here I've created a folder for WEG dealer meeting tests. Um, then tags, which would allow it to be easily, more easily recognized in the global search. And I'll go ahead and save that. So now we see uh, the doc was successfully created. We see my text. If I click show details, we'll see the privacy settings that we configured. Um, so we always have control over who is viewing our notes, uh, notes and docs I use interchangeably. And then we have the capacity to edit it. Um, we can view the revision history. So uh, we can see who edited what and when. And let's unpack that a little. So here uh, I'm taking a pre-existing document. I am going to, I can click compare revisions, but there's only one set of revisions. So that's kind of nonsensical. I could always restore a prior version of it. Here I'm going to show what happens when we do have multiple revisions. Granted, these are from both from me, but otherwise it would show that a colleague of mine edited. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to change it, say editing this title to show change. Maybe I'll also add a file. That's a useful thing. Maybe we're taking uh, notes on a um, conference call. We want to attach a recording of the conference call, something to that effect. Here I uploaded an image because I don't have an mp3 on hand and I'll show how we can upload something of another format. Here I'll take just a sample spreadsheet and I will drag that in and we'll upload that spreadsheet. So you can modify the document. Uh, it'll show revisions. It'll show when the revisions were made. Um, likewise, we can add attachments. Um, let's say I wanted to edit who had accessibility or the means to edit it or post to it. I could do so. I'm going here just making some, some trivial edits, and then I will click Save. Now we will see two revisions in the revision history. Um, so show details, we see the privacy settings are updated based on my most recent actions. And in the history we indeed see two. We can compare set revisions. Uh, we can also restore one. So I will restore back. Um, one of them and you will see what happens. So I am going to restore. Okay. I'm going to restore it back to the original and now you will see it is the unchanged title. So basically just uh, collaborative docs. You can type, other people can type. Unlike a Google Doc, you can't both type at the same time, but it is helpful uh, for some text notes with the means to have attachments. And again, that's different from the files, in the sense that the files are really, really PDF forms. You saw anytime we clicked on a file, there wasn't really the capacity to edit, only the privacy settings. When we clicked a file, it immediately downloaded. So think of your files, the shared files, it's a form library. Think of the notes or docs, whatever you please to call it, as kind of collaborative notes and text documents with the capacity for attachments.